Dive deep into the annals of history and you'll find the Zulu Nation, a martial kingdom nestled in the heart of Southern Africa. Emerging in the early 19th century, the Zulu Nation was a beacon of power and resilience. Its formidable rise was led by the charismatic Shaka Zulu, whose exceptional military acumen and innovative tactics set the stage for a new era of Zulu dominance. Shaka Zulu's reign marked the beginning of the Zulu military revolution, characterized by unique combat methods and an organizational structure that was unrivaled in its time. This martial prowess, coupled with a well-structured societal hierarchy, propelled the Zulu nation to the pinnacle of Southern African societies. However, as the Zulu nation grew in power, it found itself on a collision course with the British Empire, sparking a series of conflicts that would forever change the course of its history. As the Zulu nation stood at the brink of a new era, a leader rose amongst them, Chechwayo Kampande. Chechwayo Kampande, a name etched in the annals of the Zulu kingdom, was both a warrior and a king. Born in the early 19th century, Chechwayo was the son of the Zulu king Mpande, who himself was a brother to the famous Shaka Zulu. Chechwayo's early life was marked by a fierce rivalry with his brother Mbuyazi for the Zulu throne. Emerging victorious, Chechwayo ascended to the throne in 1872, stepping into the role of guardian and leader of his people. His reign, however, was fraught with challenges. The British, eager to consolidate their power in South Africa, posed a constant threat to the sovereignty of the Zulu kingdom. Chechwayo, a leader of great courage and resilience, refused to submit to British demands, sparking the onset of the Anglo-Zulu War in 1879. Under his command, the Zulu warriors achieved an impressive victory at the Battle of Isandlwana, demonstrating their military prowess and indomitable spirit. Yet, the British forces, equipped with superior weaponry, eventually overpowered the Zulu kingdom. Despite his fierce resistance, Chechwayo was captured and exiled, marking the end of an independent Zulu nation. His dedication to his people and his determination to preserve their sovereignty, however, left an indelible mark on the pages of history. His life and reign serve as a testament to the spirit of resistance, resilience and the unyielding pursuit of freedom. The tale of Quechuayo Campande is one of courage, resilience, and an unyielding spirit. This lion-hearted king's reign over the Zulu nation left an indelible mark that echoes through the annals of history. His tale, one of valiant resistance against colonial forces, offers timeless lessons of bravery and tenacity. Today, his legacy lives on, etched in the collective memory of the Zulu people and beyond. Chechwayo Kampande, the last king of an independent Zulu nation, remains a symbol of resistance and a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Zulu people.